Now, I'd like to show you how to do GST03 draft report in SQL account. First, go to GST, new GST return. When you click on here, you will notice down here there is an arrow button. You can click on process as draft and you'll be a draft copy. When you do choose to do a draft copy, you will notice the status is in draft and there is no journal number. Click on the GST03 and you will notice that everything is exactly as a real GST03. There is a draft label here. The calculation wise, exactly the same. The whole idea is we don't want end user to make any changes in their user behavior. So we just want you to do as per normal. If you double click on the transactions, on the numbers, you will be able to see the transactions. Uh, any sales invoice as our tax code will be captured. And as you can see here, and if there is a 21 days uh, from the DO that fulfill the 21 days rule, then it will automatically be captured. If there is a, in this case, a deposit, we will double click on it. You can drill down to the transaction document itself uh, as per normal GST uh, O3 return. You can see that there is a non-refundable deposit. That's why we captured the 180 ringgit. And even from GIF, we will automatically capture it. So everything as per normal. And the only difference is that in GST draft, since no document is locked, so you can actually make any changes you like. So for example, over here I got a $10 million sales that is inaccurate, so I can delete it. I can also make some minor changes over here. Okay, to change the figures. And when I save it, there, when I generate a new GST draft, there will be new results and then of course I can still delete the entire document if I want to. So let's go ahead and generate another GSD, new GSD draft. Now there is two GSD draft here. As you can clearly see the amount is now different because we deleted a large output tax amount. So when we go back to here, adjust it, it's still a draft copy but you can amend and edit transactions. Your export supplies automatically, item number 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, fixed asset required on 16, MSIC code on item 19. Everything is the same as per your normal GSD return, which we will generate one now. So we will now do an actual GSD03 since everything is correct, we'll process it. So the difference you can clearly see, I have two draft and an actual one. And in the actual one, there is no status here and also a journal voucher is generated. You can delete your draft if you wish to with the administrator password. If the draft became too many, you can delete them. And I'm going to generate a new GST return again, an actual one. So there is no transaction here and I'm going to generate one more draft on six months later. So now it's October to December. I'm going to generate a GST draft again six months later. You will clearly see that even on draft, there is bad debt relief as well as bad debt relief. It's calculated on sale side and as well as the chain side. I click on here, again the GST03. You will see that on 5A, there is a purchase bad debt relief. And on 6B, there is a sale side bad debt relief. And obviously, we have completely taken into account of item 17 bad debt relief. And if you later on, if you generate, uh, do a bad debt recover, it will automatically be generated in the draft as well. So this concludes the video on our GSD draft feature.